हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडेज क्वेश्चन अ पर्सन ऑफ 80 के जी मास इज स्टैंडिंग ऑन द रिम ऑफ ए सर्कुलर प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ मास 200 के जी रोटेटिंग अबाउट इट्स एक्सिस एट फाइव रेवल्यूशन पर मिनट द पर्सन नाउ स्टार्ट मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द सेंटर ऑफ द प्लेटफॉर्म वट विल बी द रोटेशनल स्पीड इन आर पी एम ऑफ द प्लेटफॉर्म वेन द पर्सन रिच इज सेंटर so we have two uh, situations in the first we have a circular platform and it is rotating about its axis and we have person which is standing somewhere around the rim so this is the person and under this condition it is given that it is rotating about it is Uh, at its axis about 5 rpm okay so let us suppose we have omega 1 that is given as 5 revolution per minute and the mass of the person is given as 80 kg and mass of this platform is given as 200 kg now in the second case this person starts to move towards the axis so this is our axis now the person is at the center that on which the axis this platform is rotating so this is the person now and let us suppose now it is rotating with the angular speed of omega 2 and we have to suppose to find out omega 2 so this is our initial condition and this is our final condition and we assume that r is the radius of this platform so basically we can say that the person is standing at a distance r from the axis of the rotation and then the second part or we can in final condition the person is exactly at the exactly on the axis so in this case we are going to use the conservation of momentum and initial momentum will be called final momentum and using that relationship we are going to find out what will be our omega 2 so let us first of all find out the initial momentum so initial moment of inertia let us suppose is given as i1 and i1 will be equal to moment of inertia of the platform plus moment of inertia of the person under initial condition so here initial condition means that the person is on the rim okay so we can say initial means person is standing on the rim of the circular platform on the rim of the circular platform so let us one by one find out the moment of inertia of platform as well as person person initial uh, moment of inertia so you can say moment of inertia of the platform will be equal to half m r square where m is the mass of the platform and r is the radius and we can say moment of inertia of the person initial will be equal to m r square 
So here, capital M is mass of platform and small m is mass of person. Therefore, we can say, substituting these two formula in the given equation, we can say I1 will be equal to half mr square plus small mr square and we can take MR, uh, r square as common so we get this is half mass of the platform is given as 200 kg plus mass of the person is given as 80 kg so this goes as 100 so we can say for i1 that the movement of inertia initially when the person is on the rim is will be coming as 180 r square similarly we are going to find out the final moment of inertia that is under final condition you can see final moment of inertia which is given as i2 and this is for final condition and this is for initial condition initial condition so once again i2 will be equal to moment of inertia of the platform plus moment of inertia of the person under final condition so here in final means person is at the center of the platform or we can say on the axis of rotation therefore moment of inertia of the platform will be equal to half mr square and the moment of inertia for the person which is the final position will be equal to zero so substituting these two for i2 we can say that i2 will be equal to half mr square mass is given as 200 and we have r square and this goes by 100 so therefore we can say i2 will be equal to 100 r square now we can use conservation momentum conservation of momentum initial angular velocity is omega 1 and final angular velocity is omega 2 so we can say angular momentum initial will be equal to angular momentum final therefore we can say that i1 omega 1 is equal to i2 omega 2 i1 we already found out is 180 r square multiply by omega 1 omega 1 is our 5 and i2 we got it is 100 r square and multiply by omega 2 r square cancel with r square so we get this as omega 2 is equal to 185 divided by 100 
and 0 goes with 0 this goes by 2 and this goes by 9 so omega 2 is equal to 9 revolution per minute so this is the rotational speed of the platform when the person reaches its center this is the rotational speed of the platform when person is at the center of platform. So this completes the question. Thank you.